Hello and welcome to For Nits Sake, episode N. I thought I would do N for Naomi's needles and show you all the needles that I have. So knitting, sewing, all of them. I'm going to start with some really fun ones. I'm going to show you them and you're not going to expect what I'm going to show you. <laughs> I bought these in the Glasgow Craft creative craft show um this was a week before lockdown started and i bought the tartan fabric with it so it's like old pieces of tartan from a factory and the, it's made into a um a, a yarn ball um and i haven't haven't made made the rug yet but i'm thinking i'm going to do youtube with these because i need to have this recorded because they are just so funny i really want to hang them on the wall as well like do you know how people hang guns and swords and stuff. I just want to have these hung on the wall somewhere. <laughs> Next up, it's a set of wooden knitting needles. Um, compared to most knitters, I don't have a lot of knitting needles. I like to be super organised and only have things that I use. So I bought some wooden knitting needles because I was going on holiday and I was knitting for the first time on a plane and I had my nice Knit Pro Zing ones and I didn't want them to be taken away from me because I'm not sure, like, is it a weapon? and I don't want to risk that, so I bought some cheap wooden ones to just take with me. And they're in this penguin case, which is actually the first thing I ever sewed. And even though I was new to sewing, I decided to do like a bright orange stitch to make the, to match the beaks. It ended up working, so that was good. <laughs> so for the first few, they're, they're the same size, but then for the, the bigger needles, I just put the needles onto the fabric and worked out from there how much space I would need and then inside here are some needles I got free with a yarn bowl <laughs> I'm still trying to work out is that a human or is that an animal this is the yarn bowl I got it's so cute I really want to start having a yarn bowl collection <laughs> but the yarn comes out of its butt <laughs> next up I want to talk about knit prosing needles uh, when I first got into knitting I only used cheap plasticky ones um, because I thought, why would people spend like 30 plus pounds on knitting needles? And then I went to a knit and natter and a lady was teaching me how to do purl, I think it was. And I was like, what are these needles? They're so smooth. And she was like, the knit pro zing. And then I went home and Googled it and I was like, 35 pounds for a pair of needles. So then I hinted to my mum that I would like them for Christmas. <laughs> but we went halves on them. And let me tell you, if you are new to knitting, don't have cheap things. Like it's, it's the whole experience is so much nicer if you have nice needles. These are thirty five pounds. So these like these are like the bottom of the price barrel. These are bottom of the price because you can get ones that are like a hundred pound plus, which I think is a bit ridiculous. But let's see what I'm like in five years time. <laughs> they're so smooth and they're so colourful. Um, it really is. It makes your knitting faster. It makes you want to knit as well because they're so nice to use. I got the long ones first because I just thought um, the circular ones were just for knitting the round. And then I learned to knit in the round and I bought circular needles because I, I even, this was like a few months ago, I still then thought circular needles were just for knitting in the round, but they're not. So you can knit anything on them and it makes knitting so much faster because with these straight ones, um, you'll see how long they are. And the circular ones are really short and you have this cable here. Um, obviously as a beginner knitter, this is always the same, that like you look at that and think, ah. But honestly, if you just forget that part, it is, it is just, it is just knitting needles. And your posture is much better with the short ones because with the long ones, you're very elbowy and they get in the way. Um, I once was knitting with these with a crochet blanket, like a granny square, and it had holes in it and the knitting needle kept getting caught in the hole. And not only that, it's like you're using a lot of your body with long ones and it's not very comfortable. 
and it's not very fast either because it's much longer and you're using a lot more body and it, the whole thing is just once now I use the circular ones it's just doesn't make sense to use the long ones with the short ones it's much nicer you can just you can you can put your whole body in like this with the elbows properly in so you can just chill back and do some knit I probably should have put some knitting on these so you can just chill out and like lean back and they actually work really well if you're sat in a wing back chair. <laughs> so if you've been knitting for years or if you're new to knitting, don't be overwhelmed by these. They, once you get them, you, you'll be like, why didn't I get them sooner? So these, they're really nice than the Knit Pro Zing as well because they come in this gorgeous case. These short Zing ones are interchangeable. So your needles are there and then you've got all your cables in here. So if you've got a pattern that calls for a certain size cable, you just go in here, get it out and put it on there. And it's got a little key which locks it in. I noticed um, I was at Mum's house and she was teaching me Magic Loop, which is great for these. And she, she's she got tons of needles and I guess most knitters have, but I just have a few because I just have things that I use. So she got these wooden things out of her drawer and they broke. They weren't, they weren't interchangeable, like the, the, the cable was attached to the needle and you think, all right then, they're going to be secure. And I was on, on like road two and it broke. So it is much better to spend money than have cheap things. Because imagine if you were massively into a project and the things broke. It's that, it, it is really like less is more. That is really when it comes to knitting needles. Have quality needles, a few of them, rather than tons of rubbish ones. I... I, it was honestly a life changer getting nice, getting getting nice needles. And I'm going to show you my chunky. I don't actually like knitting chunky. I haven't done it for ages. It doesn't really appeal to me. I really love fiddly, like 3.75 and 4. They're my favourite. So when I was new to knitting, I kept seeing chunky things. And I was like, oh, but they're nice to knit and they're really not. Chunky works really well on crochet. But with knitting, it kind of, I don't know, it doesn't appeal to me as much. But although I would love to knit a chunky jumper. So I have these size 15 needles. I've used them once for a project that went wrong. <laughs> this was when I was really new, new to knitting and it was the, I looked into We Are Knitters. As a beginner, it's, there's so much information to learn so you do end up buying the wrong things. Um, like I, I was really new to knitting and I bought some wool offline uh, thinking it, I didn't understand grams. So I just bought them and they came and they were like that big, they were like 25 gram balls. <laughs> But yeah, I haven't used these since. I keep these just in case because you never know. I might like Chunky one day and they're good quality as well. It's not like a waste. I also much prefer the sound of metal knitting needles than wooden ones. It's so, so, so satisfying. <laughs> okay, I got these. I don't know why I got these. They are not practical. They are so long. I know I just mentioned those long zing ones but these are even longer like how on earth <laughs> this was when i had been knitting for like three years um i think i bought them for lockdown last year lockdown i think i bought them in lockdown 2020 was it yeah um for the sincerely louise rainbow um and I didn't make the rainbow. And I have these now. So if I make the rainbow, I'm definitely going to do it on circular because that, that, I think I'm just keeping them because I love the orange at the end. But these are just, and then I have these plastic 12 millimeter ones. When I started for my knitting needles, I was going to get rid of them, but like I say, it's good to keep chunky ones just in case. Another game changer, life changer, is decent darning needles. Just like knitting needles, you need good darning needles because when you're sewing up, first of all, it's awful. <laughs> so if you've got uh, nice, nice darning needles, it just makes it much better. Like these Knit Pro ones just glide through your work so nicely that like they don't catch anything, they're nice and long. Um, they're really, really good. And it has, they have a little plastic cable um, eye for, that's really, really good for threading yarn through, much better than the small darning. Because when you look at an original darning needle, it's 
it's just, it's like, why would you use that when you have them? But I do have, I do save these small ones because they work well. Actually, I don't really use them that much. I do have one for my overlocker for threading the threads in once I finish sewing. Um, I just keep them because it's just good to have tons of darn needles because the, the, the small ones aren't awful. I just, I think it just depends what mood I'm in, to be honest. There's a lot of humour in needles. I'm learning this as I'm showing you. This needle is a doll making needle. So when I first made Luna Lapin, I bought one of these online and I'm not very good at online shopping. I get things that are either too big or too small. So when I was buying this, I didn't look at the measurements and I just assumed it'd be a normal needle. And because it's a doll making needle, <laughs> it's massive. I'm used to it now, but when I first did Luna and I got this, I just couldn't stop laughing at it. So the reason it's so long... That's good against the blue, isn't it? The reason it's so long is because when you have a doll, you've got the head and you've got two ears to attach. So you need to be able to put the needle through the, the ear, the head, the ear, and then pull it through again and then through and through. Whereas if you were to use a normal one, we would end up squishing the doll out of shape and the needle might get stuck and all the and caught and all these things. So the doll maker needle is that big. So if you have a lunar lapping or anything like that, um just just remember that it's this size. So when you when it comes you're like <laughs> So if you have a lunar lapping or anything like a hand sewn doll, buy a doll maker's needle. Don't skimp. Buy this. It's not very sharp anymore. Although I might have Marge Simpson fingertips now, I don't know. <laughs> and then lastly, I, I just want to say now, obviously I have my overlocker and my sew machine and I'm not going to talk about them or show them because... <laughs> so lastly is this um, sewing needle case that my mum made me. This was another just out of the blue present. My favourite colour is blue, out of the blue, blue. I didn't I mean, I'm saying this is blue because my favourite colour is blue. <laughs> It's really nice. It's got felt in, it's like proper nice wool felt as well, I can tell. And she told me. <laughs> so you just stick, flick through and then there's a heart in the middle. And then mum's thing is to add a black heart to everything, so that's that. And I added this cross stitch bit of fabric so to let me know they're the cross stitch um, needles. And then that's not sewn in, it's just like put in with the needles if you know what I mean. And then at the end, I have these vintage needles that apparently you can thread blind. I took them out of the packaging because I was going to use them. But now I think I might put them back in the packaging because of all the research I've done recently, it's like um, antique. So I think I'm going to, to keep them as they are and not use them or use them and keep them in the original packaging. I do these videos and there's always a part of me that's like, I'm missing something. Oh yes, I did miss something because it fell on the floor. <laughs> This is another thing, um, needle point protectors. So I would see them on Instagram and that, and I'd be like, oh, they're such a proper knitter because they've got needle point protectors. And I was like, <laughs> I'm going to knit a big, big jumper on knitting in the round. And I bought them because I didn't want my work to fall off. And then when I came, I was like, why didn't I use them sooner? Just get them, even if you're making scows or toys, just get them. Because you never know, your work might fall off and also it does look nice. <laughs> I feel like a proper knitter now because I've got these. I bought a, f I bought a few packs and these are... This video isn't sponsored, I just like Knit Pro because their stuff is quality. So I just bought the basic ones. Th so the colour coded, blue is for needle size 2 to, f to 5, pink is for needle size 4.5 to 10. So they cover all sizes and it's just like 4. And they're about two or three pounds and it's so worth it trust me just buy them you can buy ones that have that obviously people on etsy making things which might be my next venture i i before i bought them i just bought them because i wanted to knit the jumper and that for not to fall off i thought they were like just a a joke and but they are they're actually really really good really really secure so definitely buy them even if you're just knitting the basic basicest of basic things that's it apparently <laughs> thank you for watching my next one is going to be O, and that's going to be for organize your stash i do have a video which i've done um talking through but i feel 
I've been using this system for a while now, so I want to talk about it more and break it down into simple sets for you. So it's about organising your stash. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. My podcast is every Monday at 5pm and I'm currently doing a weekly roundup of The Sewing Bee, which is every Thursday at 5pm. So yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a comment below what, like, what's your favourite needle? Um, what's your favourite needle? I think mine's a dull, actually that's just a good question. I think mine's a dull making needle just because of how happy I was when it came. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!